Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan. I am going to discuss the subject gas dynamics and jet propulsion. This is lecture number GDJP02. The topic for today's discussion is stagnation properties. So, we recap the previous discussion. So, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the Mach number, types of flow based on the Mach number like uh, subsonic flow, sonic flow, supersonic flow, hypersonic flow. And we discussed the Mach waves, how the sound waves are propagating in the medium. And then we discussed the governing equation. Continuity equation, momentum equation, energy equation, and equation of state, and uh, the importance of the equation in the gas dynamics. And the topic for the today discussion is stagnation properties and uh, effect of Mach number on compressibility. So, the learn, uh, learning outcome for the today's lecture, uh, the end of the lecture, uh, you should be able to define the stagnation properties and uh, explain the effect of Mach number and compressibility of the fluid. So, first we take up the stagnation state and the stagnation property. First, we, let us design what is stagnation state, then we take the stagnation properties. The stagnation state of a fluid is defined as the state of the fluid attained by isentropically decelerated to zero velocity at zero elevation. When the fluid is flowing through a pipeline or when the fluid is flowing, we assume that the flow is decelerated to zero velocity at a particular location. The point or the state at which the velocity is zero and the elevation is zero, then it is called as isentropic state. And we have we take all the properties at the at the stagnation state, that is called as stagnation properties. The stagnation enthalpy. So, stagnation enthalpy of the gas is its enthalpy when it is isentropically decelerated to zero velocity at zero elevation. We have the steady flow energy equation simplified for a flow in a duct or the passage uh, C1 square by 2 plus H1 equal to C2 square by 2 plus H2. So, 1 is the inlet condition or 2 is the outlet condition. Now, we assume the velocity C2 at the outlet is decelerated to zero velocity and uh, the energy is constant, energy at the inlet is equal to energy at the outlet and when the velocity is decreased to zero velocity, obviously this enthalpy will increase. When the velocity is decreased to zero velocity and this enthalpy is called as stagnation enthalpy or the total enthalpy. So, simplifying, I put uh, C2 equal to zero. So, H2 will become HO, stagnation enthalpy. So, straight away from this equation, this is equal to H1 plus C1 square by 2. But in general, the stagnation enthalpy equal to H plus C square by 2. And uh, if you look at the right hand side, there are two components, one is enthalpy, another one is C square by 2. So, the stagnation enthalpy of a gas any at any location in the flow is the sum of static enthalpy and the kinetic energy of the gas at that location. So, this is static enthalpy and this is the enthalpy due to velocity, kinetic energy of the gas. The next is stagnation temperature. So, you have the stagnation enthalpy HO equal to H plus C, C square by 2. For a perfect gas, H equal to Cp into T. So, from the previous equation, HO equal to H plus C square by 2. 
Now H O equal to C P into T O and H E equal to C P into T. So T O equal to T plus C square by 2 C P. And the stagnation temperature is a sum of static temperature and velocity temperature. So this is the temperature due to velocity, which is C square by 2. Velocity, this is called as velocity temperature. Now we have C P equal to gamma R by gamma minus 1. So this derivation you can uh, obtain from C P minus C V equal to R. From that uh, equation you can derive this C P equal to R in gamma into R divided by gamma minus 1. And here you replace the C P. So C P is replaced by so 2 gamma R by gamma minus 1. So I can write as you, you take T to the left side T O by T equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 into C square by gamma R T. And this gamma R T is A square. So the A acoustic velocity or the velocity of the sound equal to square root of gamma R T. So this gamma R T is equal to A square and C square by gamma R T uh, that becomes Mach number square. So T O by T equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 into Mach number. So T O is the stagnation temperature, T is the static temperature and the M is the Mach number at that location. Uh, gamma is the specific heat ratio uh, of the gas or the fluid. And the stagnation pressure. So for isentropic flow, uh, we have PO by P equal to TO by T to the power gamma, gamma by gamma minus 1. So the uh, outlet pressure or the out, uh, I mean, we have P2 by P1 equal to T2 by T1 to the power gamma by gamma minus 1. We are using the relationship, relationship between pressure and temperature for isentropic flow and substituting for TO by T. So PO by P equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square to the power gamma by gamma minus 1. And stagnation density, the stagnation density of the gas is defined as the density corresponding to stagnation pressure and stagnation temperature. So P by rho equal to R into T. So we can write uh, the equation for stagnation condition. So P O by rho O equal to R into T O. Uh, so the rearrange will get T rho O by rho O equal to T O by T to the power 1 by gamma minus 1. And substituting for T O by T that is equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square to the power 1 by gamma minus 1. So this equation is also important. Then stagnation velocity of sound. Stagnation velocity of the sound is defined as the sonic velocity corresponding to the stagnation condition. So A value at the stagnation temperature. So A value A equal to square root of gamma R into T. Now the velocity at the uh, stagnation condition A O equal to square root of gamma R into T O. And here R equal to C P into gamma minus 1 by gamma. We substitute replace R. So this becomes C P into T equal to H O and uh, you will get the gamma minus 1 into HO. So, AO equal to square root of gamma minus 1 into HO. And uh, based on the discussion, so we, 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 have, we have the stagnation enthalpy and uh, stagnation temperature TO by T equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M square. And stagnation pressure TO by T equal to uh, PO, uh, PO by P equal to uh, 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square to the power gamma by gamma minus 1, stagnation density and the stagnation velocity of the sound. So these are all the important equations. Now based on the total energy of the fluid, we will discuss the various regions of the flow for the gas dynamics. Consider one dimensional study isentropic flow of the fluid in a horizontal duct of cross of circular cross section. For the flow, there is no heat transfer, there is no work done and finally the equation HO equal to H plus C square by 2 equal to constant. Now in the above equation, I put H equal to 0 and the velocity, velocity C will become the C maximum. So HO equal to C maximum by 2. So HO equal to H plus C square by 2. Now HO equal to C max by C max square by 2. And H equal to Cp into T. So Cp equal to gamma by gamma minus R into T. So this gamma RT is A square by gamma minus 1. So H equal to 
a square by gamma minus 1 and uh, HO equal to a square by gamma minus 1 plus c square by 2 which is constant. Now once again c equal to 0, a becomes AO. So HO equal to AO by gamma minus 1. So this is another equation. So we have uh, many many equations, three equations. One is HO equal to C max square by 2, HO equal to A square by gamma minus 1 plus C square by 2 and HO equal to AO square divided by gamma minus 1. So HO equal to A square by gamma minus 1 plus C square by 2 plus C max square by 2 is equal to AO square by gamma minus 1 and this equation is the expression for the stagnation enthalpy. Stagnation enthalpy already we have H, uh, HO equal to H plus C square by 2. And this is the equation expressing the isentropic, I mean stagnation enthalpy in different form, different ways. Now we take the diagram. X axis I take velocity, Y axis I take the acoustic or the sonic velocity. When the enthalpy, stagnation enthalpy is constant, so here the maximum point of the CO is C maximum where A equal to 0, C equal to C maximum. So HO equal to C maximum square by 2. And when you come here, uh, HO equal to AO square by gamma minus 1. So this is the curve at uh, which gives the enthalpy at different points. So A square, so enthalpy at anywhere here, the stagnant enthalpy anywhere here equal to A square by gamma minus 1 plus C square by 2. So based on that, we classify the flow, incompressible flow when the Mach number is very much lower than 1, subsonic flow when the Mach number is less than 1, transonic flow where the Mach number is varying between this limit. So here at the center we have the Mach number equal to 1 which is sonic flow. Supersonic flow where the Mach number is greater than 1 and hypersonic flow where the Mach number is greater than 5, very much higher than the 1. And what is incompressible flow? The uh, flow Mach number is very much lower than 1, velocity of the fluid is much lower than the velocity of the sound, then the effect of compressibility is negligible and the flow becomes incompressible. What is subsonic flow? If the Mach number is less than unity, the velocity of the fluid is lower than the velocity of the sound, the flow is called as subsonic, subsonic flow. And what is transonic flow? For the Mach number is slightly higher than and lower than the sonic condition. The flow is called as transonic flow where Mach number is less than 1.2 and greater than 0.8. Supersonic flow where the Mach number is greater than 1 and the hypersonic flow where the Mach number is greater than 5. So that is what the, uh, I mean various regions of flow, everything depends on the stagnation enthalpy, total energy of the fluid. Now we take the reference velocities. So we require some reference velocity for the gas dynamics calculation. Uh, to calculate, to make the uh, parameter non-dimensional. The fluid velocity is expressed in non-dimensional form by dividing by some of the reference velocities. The non-dimensional parameters are important for the analysis of the compressible fluid flow problem. So the first uh, reference velocity is velocity of the sound. We discussed earlier, so the C is the velocity of the fluid, we make it is non-dimensional by dividing by the A which is velocity of the sound. This ratio is called as Mach number. So, the first reference velocity is local velocity of the sound. So, C by square root of gamma R into T. And the critical velocity of the sound. So, the now M critical equal to C star by A star. So, A star is the critical velocity of the sound. And this critical velocity, critical Mach number equal to 1. So, the ratio of critical velocity of the fluid to the Critical velocity of the sound is called as critical Mach number and the value is unity. So, C star equal to A star equal to square root of gamma R into T star. So, this is critical velocity of the sound. And this is also equal to square root of 2R gamma by gamma plus 1 into TO. So, so replacing T star in terms of stagnation temperature. And the maximum fluid velocity this is for adiabatic energy equation, H, HO equal to H plus C square by 2. So, HO equal to 1 by 2 C max square. So, C max is the square root of 2 into HO, which is 2 into Cp into TO, 
which is 2 into gamma by gamma minus 1 into r into tau. This is again another reference velocity C maximum. And the stagnation velocity of the sound for isentropic flow, uh, the condition AO, AO square by gamma minus 1 equal to 1 by 2 C max square. So, AO square equal to gamma minus 1 by 2 into C max square. So, the AO square is the another uh, reference velocity for gas dynamic calculations. And reference Mach number M star. So, this is a different value. So, you should not get confused with the critical Mach number M star with the reference Mach number. So, the reference Mach number M star equal to C by C star, which is equal to C by A star. And uh, this M star is equal to M star square equal to gamma plus 1 by 2 M square divided by 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M square. So, this is the reference Mach number. And the Krakow number is another non dimensions another uh, reference uh, reference velocity uh, uh, another non dimensions number in the gas dynamics calculation uh, which is referred as c by c maximum uh, fluid velocity divided by maximum fluid velocity uh, substituting for the two values so you will get krakow number equal to square root of gamma plus 1 by 2 into m square divided by 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square so these are all the reference velocities for the gas dynamics calculation. Now, we take a reflection spot. Uh, we had a discussion for the past 15 minutes. Uh, from the discussion, you try to write down, uh, recall, write down and some of the terminologies related with the stagnation uh, properties and stagnation state. So, if you are able to write all these things, uh, it is good. A stagnation state, stagnation enthalpy, stagnation temperature, stagnation pressure, stagnation density, stagnation velocity of the sound, reference Mach number, critical velocity of the sound, and Krakow number. Uh, once you write this, uh, we can the equation will reflect in your mind, uh, so that it will be useful for your future learning. So, when you have written all these parameter and I congratulate you for your good work. And the effect of Mach number on the compressibility. Next topic is effect of Mach number on the compressibility. And once again, we refer to this equation, Sackness enthalpy equation, HO equal to H plus C square by 2 is equal to constant. Now, uh, differentiating this equation, dh equal to c d c equal to 0 and for isentropic flow dh equal to minus uh, sorry dh equal to dp by rho so dh equal to dp by rho from uh, thermodynamics dh equal to dp by rho so the equation substituting in this equation dp by rho plus c d c equal to 0 now integrating the above equation for incompressible fluid flow. What is incompressible fluid flow? Rho is constant. I will get 1 by rho is a constant integrate dp plus integral uh, c dc. So, performing the integration, we will get p by rho uh, plus c square by 2 equal to constant. So, this equation we are familiar, uh, which is known as Bernoulli's equation. Now, we calculate the constant value and we assume the flow is isentropically decelerated to zero velocity. When you decelerate to zero velocity, the pressure becomes the stagnation pressure and density becomes the stagnation density and the constant is PO by rho o equal to constant. And the substituting for the constant, so we will get P by rho plus E square by 2 equal to PO by rho o. And for incompressible flow, rho o equal to rho, there is no change in the density rho is equal to rho o. So, we will write p plus 1 by 2 rho c square equal to p o. This is what the equation for compressible, incompressible flow and this is equation called as Bernoulli's equation for isentropic flow of incompressible fluid like water. So, what do you mean by this equation? The stagnation pressure is equal to static pressure plus the pressure due to the velocity. 1 by 2 rho c square equal to the pressure due to the velocity of the fluid. 
and uh, the pressure coefficient we define the pressure coefficient cf as uh, stagnation pressure minus static pressure divided by 1 by 2 rho c square so the you remember this terminology uh, delta p by 1 by 2 rho c square is the compressibility factor of the pressure coefficient now the pressure coefficient for incompressible flow equal to 1 because PO by P, PO minus P equal to 1 by 2 rho c square. So, numerator and denominator are equal. So, the compressibility factor for incompressible flow is CF equal to 1 for the uh, incompressible fluid flow. Now, what about the compressible fluid flow? So, for gas dynamics, what is the uh, pressure coefficient? So, the effect of Mach number on the compressibility factor for compressible fluid flow is derived, we will derive this. So, for that, I take the help of the stagnation temperature equation, stagnation pressure equation. We have PO by P equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square to the power gamma by gamma minus 1. PO by P equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square to the power gamma by gamma minus 1. We take this uh, polynomial equation 1 plus x to the power n equal to expanding 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial x square into plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by 3 factor into x to the power 3 plus n into n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 divided by 4 factorial and it goes on like this this go, the series goes on. Now you compare these two equations and here this 1 is here x is gamma minus 1 by 2 into m square and the n is gamma by gamma. So this 1 plus x to the power n. Now you write the same fashion, you will get this equation. So PO by P equal to 1 plus n into x, n equal to gamma by gamma minus 1 into x equal to gamma minus 1 by 2 into m square nx plus 2 factorial is 1 by 2 n into n minus 1, n equal to gamma by gamma minus 1 n minus 1 equal to gamma by gamma minus 1 minus 1 into x square equal to gamma minus 1 by 2 m square to the power 2 plus 1 by 3 factorial 1 by 6 n gamma by gamma minus 1 n minus 1 gamma by gamma minus 1 minus 1 n minus 2 gamma by gamma minus 1 minus 2 into x to the power 3. So, gamma minus 1 by 2 m square to the power 3 plus 1 by 4 factorial 1 by 24 n gamma by gamma minus 1, n minus 1, gamma by gamma minus 1 minus 1, n minus 2, gamma by gamma minus 1 minus 2, n minus 3, gamma by gamma minus 1 minus 3 into x to the power 4, uh, which is gamma minus 1 by 2 m square to the power 4. So, expanding the right hand side and this mathematically simplifying, we will get PO by P minus 1, we take this 1 to the right left side. So, PO by P minus 1 equal to gamma by 2 m square into 1 plus m square by 4 plus 2 minus gamma by 24 m to the power 4 and like that it goes. So, now I take the gamma. So, this uh, PO by P minus 1 equal to PO minus P divided by P. Uh, I take this gamma by 2 m square to the left side. So, this equal to 1 plus m square by 4 plus 2 minus gamma by 24 m to the power 4. And you take the denominator p into gamma by, by 2 m square equal to uh, p equal to gamma rt in sorry gamma rt sorry rho rt into gamma m square by 2 which is rho into gamma rt equal to a square m square by 2. So, this a square m square equal to c square. So, Mac number equal to c by a m square equal to c square by a square and this gives the c square so 1 by 2 rho c square so this p gamma by 2 m square equal to 1 by 2 rho c square so this will give po by p divided by 1 by 2 rho c square e equal to 1 plus m square by 2 plus 2 minus gamma by 24 into m to the power 4 so this is the equation for compressibility of for compressibility equation for incompressible fluid, incompressible gas, any gas. Now for, sorry, compressible gas. So for incompressible flow, Mach number is very much lower than the 1. All these terms will be uh, dropped and you will get the 1 value. For compressible fluid flow, now I, I take a specific case for air gamma equal to 1.4. 
a compressive factor substituting gamma equal to 1.4 will get PO by P divided by 1 by 2 rho c square equal to 1 plus m square by 4 and this becomes 1 by 40 m to the power 4. So, this is the expression uh, for the compressibility factor of uh, air for isentropic flow. So, the compressibility factor for air because gamma equal to 1.4 which is 1 plus m square by 4 plus 1 by 40 m to the power 4. So, this you can easily remember right and say 1 plus m square by 4 plus 1 by 40 into m to the power 4 like that it goes. And uh, you plot the graph, Mach number on the x axis, compressibility factor in the y axis. So, you will get a curve like this. So, how the Mach number, uh, how the compressibility factor is increasing with respect to Mach number, particularly look at the subsonic flow, it is slowly increasing. When the Mach number, when they go for the supersonic flow, there is a steep increase in the compressibility factor. And the next parameter is, next parameter is impulse function. So, the momentum equation uh, for a steady one dimensional flow with the negligible shear force and the body force is given by P into A plus rho A C square equal to constant. So, the this is the pressure force P into A is the pressure force, rho A C square is the inertia force. And the sum of this pressure force and the inertia force is called as impulse function, which is an important parameter in calculating thrust in the jet, uh, jet engine on the rocket engine. The impulse function term. Uh, is the sum of the pressure force and the inertia force. Now, F equal to P A plus rho A C square and this is rho equal to P by R T. So, you will get finally you will get F equal to P A into 1 plus gamma by gamma R T C square and this gamma R T equal to A square. So, this will become F equal to P A into 1 plus gamma into M square. So, P A, P is the pressure, A is the area and m is the Mach number. So, the impulse function is P A into 1 plus gamma into m square. So, this impulse function equation you have to remember uh, for our calculations in the gas dynamics and the jet propulsion. And uh, this is the book what I have written on the gas dynamics and jet propulsion uh, published by another publication Chennai. Uh, if you, you, you refer to this book for all your clarification and the problem. Uh, because there are more problems solved from analysis to question paper and this book will be useful for your exam preparation. And for any clarification, you can write to me uh, to this mail ID. So, I will reply uh, within 24 hours. So, finally, thank you very much for listening and we will meet again in the next lecture.